this package was sent to me and it just feels so cool. So, um, yeah, anxiety, the rule of the roof right now. Get one life, you might as well dress cute. I've used this so many times. It's such a good purse and I always go back to it because why not? Yes, yes. Look at this. <gasps> hey, this feels so weird. My God, that's crazy. Every morning when I wake up, I feel like my face is always so puffy and it's just like closed. So I've been taking my jade roller, keeping it in my skincare fridge and just rolling out my skin and it feels so amazing, especially like early mornings when I have to be to work at like seven o'clock. I'll just take my jade roller, roll out my face and it wakes me up so calmly, but intensely. I'm gonna go in with some skincare. I'm not using anything new. I've been using the same products for a while now, honestly. And we're just sticking to the basics, sticking to what I know, sticking to what I love. I will say this is definitely something I will 100% be repurchasing. I just love it. It's just a very lightweight toner that I love applying, especially right before I'm about to do my makeup. I feel like it really helps with my pores, hydration. It absorbs so quick into the skin and I just feel like it makes my face look so much more alive. So I definitely will be repurchasing the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. What I won't be repurchasing is the Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Serum. It works, I like it, but honestly, I definitely used a better hyaluronic acid. Like the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid is a lot better. Ooh a lot better and cheaper than this. So will I be repurchasing? I don't think so. It is super hydrating, but I don't know. I just feel like it could have been a lot better, especially for the price point, you know? I would definitely repurchase the Niacinamide Dew Drops by Glow Recipe. I think these are amazing. I feel like this is such a good all-in-one serum. It has Niacinamide, has the hydration. It helps preventing any acne coming through. I really like it. Still loving the It Cosmetics Confidence and an Eye Cream. I think this is really good. I would definitely repurchase this. I also really love it underneath my concealer. I think it applies so much better. Very creamy, no um, like build up product. I love this as like an eye primer basically, but I also use it as an eye cream. I use it morning and night, definitely would repurchase. For moisturizer, I'm going in with the Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. I love this. This is such a good morning moisturizer. It has like the perfect thickness for the morning, especially after applying all those serums. I don't need anything crazy, but it's really nice. I love it. It's amazing underneath makeup. It has niacinamide in it, collagen. It's a really good face moisturizer, so I definitely would repurchase it 100%. I need to learn how to pronounce this brand. I think it's Laneige. Laneige? Laneige? I don't know. I love it though, it's really good. I definitely would repurchase. I have a new product to show you guys that I've been obsessed with. This is so good. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. It makes my skin feel so hydrated and just like it had a drink of water. And look at this mist, like it is magical. I love it so much. Did you see that? It's just like a breath of fresh air. I love it so much and it makes my skin look so glowy and dewy. I love it. I literally cannot get enough of it. It was pretty pricey, but I definitely think it's worth it. And look how much you get. Like, it's so good. I love applying this before and after my makeup, like during my application process, just hydrating the skin. It's so good. I did receive a really fun package that I'm so excited to open up with you guys. This package was sent to me and it just feels so cool that brands, you know, reach out to me and they're like, hey, would you want to try this? It's like, why would you want me to try it? Like, I'm that special. So I feel really cool. This is from Ali Oop and I'm really excited. I think I know what this is. <gasps> Oh, 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 we got little <laughs> styrofoam popcorn balls. Oh, look how cute. Oh, I definitely opened this up the wrong way. Look how cute and all the little popcorn balls. So what do we have? We have an Alley Oop green tea toner stick. 
Ooh, look, I'm excited about that. And then we have the Clean Slate All-in-One Cleansing Stick. So this is supposed to take off all my makeup. We shall see how that goes. I'll definitely be using that tonight. And then, the, oh, I'm getting these popcorn balls everywhere. I know you're busy, so I'll keep this short, the end. <laughs> that's cute, on the inside, that's what it says. So this is their our double sided about face cotton mitts. Make it easy to get a squeaky clean face every day. Oh, oh. Hmm, it's like a little mitt, like very soft on this side and then this side is definitely for like exfoliating. Hmm, and it comes with two of them. That's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to be trying this out tonight. Listen, guys, I'm pretty sure when they were emailing me, they told me to make a TikTok. So I'm probably going to make like a full review on TikTok about these products. So make sure you guys are following me on TikTok because a girl, Loki, has been popping off and it's really exciting. It makes me so happy to see that people actually care now like about what I'm saying on TikTok. The other day, I literally made just a random ass video about the deodorant that I was using. And I was like, listen, I need some recommendations. And now that I have a little bit of a following, people were actually giving me recommendations. And it was just like, wow, I'm not making videos and just speaking to myself. Like people are listening, engaging, and helping a girl out. It's really cool. So make sure you follow me on TikTok. My mom actually got this. This is like a little ring light. It's so cool. It clamps onto anything. You just plug it in and look, it gets really bright. It like moves anywhere that you want it to go. It's like really bendy. It's perfect. I will find the link and I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. We're going to do a little review using the alley oop i'm really excited i really hope i like it because i'm so honest like i will never ever show something that i hate and then it's so awkward when i have to email them and be like listen like it's either i post a video completely trashing your brand or we pretend like we never even emailed each other you know what i mean we have some new products to try by alley oop which i'm so excited about i can already see my makeup just like melting away this feels so weird but i love it i am obsessed it says to rub my skin and do circular motions to get it like really deep into the skin look at the makeup it's literally like completely melting off my skin it's, and it's hydrating too it's not just like stripping the moisture out of my skin which i'm obsessed with it feels really good. I just got the pad a little bit wet and we're just going to, what? Wait, what? Why is that actually like the easiest thing I ever freaking used? Literally one swipe, everything's off. The exfoliating side of this mitt seriously is the most gentle thing ever but I can feel it just like unclogging everything. This is the best thing ever. But this feels so good. I already know once I wash it off, it's going to feel so soft. Like this is how you glow, bitch. You gotta exfoliate. I'll leave everything linked down below. This is not sponsored. They just sent it to me. And that's a wrap, bitch. Look how good my skin looks we are so clean so fresh i didn't record me using the toner because i forgot to press play but it just calmed down my skin so much it's a 10 out of 10 for me good morning it is a beautiful morning even though it is 37 degrees out i'm still in such a good mood because i don't even know why i'm just in a good mood and we're gonna run with that i feel like I've been waking up in such a rut lately, which is just, I don't know. I think I'm getting my period, but to be honest, I don't really know because I'm on the depo shot. Let's just get deep and personal. Why not? Um, I'm on the depo shot, so I don't really get my period. I just get symptoms of my period, and it's really strange. It's actually something that I want to talk to my doctor about. Like, she says it's natural to stop getting, like, your actual period, but... I don't know. I low-key feel like being on birth control has, like, changed my personality a little bit. Like, and I've only noticed it within, like, the last year or so. And I've been, like, 
dodging it and I'm just like, no, that couldn't be it. But then there's some days where I'll literally wake up and I'm just in such a weird mood. Like I'm so sad for no reason. And I'm not really a sad person. I mean, obviously we're all human. We go through phases where we're just upset and that's normal. But I can't like ever pinpoint why I'm feeling these feelings. And usually when I'm upset, I know exactly why and like something happened or something. And I don't know. I just feel like I definitely need to talk to my doctor and get off birth control for a little bit and see how my body reacts to that because I'm not going to lie. This can sound stupid. This can sound crazy. I've never said this in my entire life before, but I miss getting a regular period. I just, I don't know. She did tell me it's healthy to not get it, but at the same time, I just want to be validated and get my period and feel like a woman again and like, I don't know. It's weird. We are on the way to the gym. I'm just waiting for my car to warm up a little bit. And then after the gym, I have to drop my car off at the shop and get it inspected, which fingers crossed, my girl has been nothing but amazing to me. So there shouldn't be anything wrong with her. I'm getting like anxious because I get scared of car dudes. Like, I don't know why, but I always feel like they're going to offer something, like some type of service, and I'm going to be like, oh my god, do I need that? And then I'll be like, yeah, sure, and then next thing you know it, I'm getting charged like $300, and I'm like, what the fuck? One time I went to go <laughs> and get my oil changed, and they were like, would you like your tires um, rotated? And I was like, every time I drive, they rotate, so like, what the I just, I don't understand car services. It's so confusing. And then when you're a girl and you go alone, it's even more confusing because they really try getting you. They try making everything sound so important and you're like, I need that. So, um, yeah, anxiety, the rule the roof right now, but I just sent my mom these pictures of my insurance and my registration because I'm pretty sure that's all I need. Oh God, wish me luck everybody. She is thick with two C's. So, dropped off my car. Honestly, it was not. <laughs> I make every I make every situation a lot worse than it has to be. I was I was ready to walk in there and the, this guy asking me like a million ten questions. Literally, he said, "Do you have your keys? Do you have your papers?" Okay, we're good to go. And so I walked out. It was easy. Car shop that I go to is literally like not even a mile away so I dropped it off walked home and it was a nice little walk it was very enjoyable so now we're home I have a little protein shake I really want to go out today and just you know enjoy the weather it is beautiful out it's like 50 degrees light winds and it's just so nice I was driving with my sunroof open probably because I had a heavy ass jacket on but nonetheless it was like really enjoyable and I'm just I'm so excited for the warm weather. Like, I really think, like, this seasonal depression is just really beating my ass up. And I cannot wait to just not wear a jacket, not be cold anymore, enjoy being outside. Like, I love nature. I love being outside. And I love soaking up vitamin D. Like, oh, I miss it so much. And I'm just tired of being, like cranky all the time because listen the cold weather makes me so cranky and it's just it's not fun anymore i'm really over it all right besties we are ready my car actually literally only took like an hour which was really good so of course we got ourselves ready i actually filmed my hair tutorial for tiktok because somebody asked me which was kind of crazy nobody ever asked me for a hair tutorial i feel like i suck at hair but apparently not we're doing great things in this world put on a little bougie outfit because why the f not you get one life you might as well dress cute so this is my new little bodysuit that i got from windsor i really love the material it's just like cotton but it's a good cotton basic so i'm in love with it and then these are my favorite sweatpants ever they're from boohoo are they boohoo yeah, they're boohoo. It came with the full tracksuit. Such a good stable piece for your closet. If you wear tracksuits a lot, you need this one. And then this is my bougie little sweater slash jacket that I got from Zara. Best thing ever because it's just like a sweatshirt, but since it has fur, it just elevates your look a little bit. And then my Vans, I've been wearing these nonstop. They were just so cozy. I forgot how good Vans were. Such a good staple shoe. I need to get another pair. 
I kind of want like a brown pair, but I don't even know if that's a thing. Anywho, that's the look. That's the fit. I've been doing such a natural makeup look lately, and I've been obsessed with it. I just, I don't know. I've came to terms that my skin is not bad at all. Like, I do not need to cake on foundation, although I love it. Like, I love getting glam. Like, as well, just embrace the natural features while I can, while I'm young and youthful. So that's what we've been doing lately, and I've been really loving it. My mirror is so freaking dirty. I'm actually embarrassed. So I'm going to show you guys what I got at Target, but then I'm also going to get my drunk parents' reactions. Well, first and foremost, boring stuff, but I got my energy drinks. Yeah. Got my energy drinks. Every time I go to Target, I literally have to stock oh, up. Got face masks. I don't know face what they mask. do. Face masks. Yeah, so I need one. I need one. I need this one. one is Relax Mind plus Hydrate Skin, Balance, balance Mind plus Soothe Skin. And then so sweet. you'll definitely want to try this out. This is the Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. And it adds color to your skin. Stop it. You apply yes, it. I will need that. You apply this as soon as you're done in the shower, but you don't get out of the shower. You apply it while you're in the shower. Isn't that cool? Oh. In the shower. In the shower. In Jerkins shower. Jerkins has stepped up their game. It says in shower color, no rinse. These are so good. I wore them the other day. They're amazing. But I didn't know the brand is called Hero. They make mighty nose patches. You wear it overnight. Whatever the... Um, <laughs> the strip, you wear it. It says leave on for six to eight hours until patch turns white with gunk. Yeah. I know. I'm so excited though. You put it over, absorbs gunk from pores and pimples overnight. Gentle and pain free. Sun Bomb, you know Sun Bomb, it's like yes, skin. Of course. They yeah. have a daily sunscreen face mist. Ooh, I love Yeah, it. so when we're like by the pool or whatever on the beach, instead of applying like an oil to our face, it's a mist. For your face. It's sunscreen. It's SPF 30. How cool is that? Sun bum. Nice. Okay. Right? I got the Detoxify, Detoxify Caffeine and Cucumber Eye Patches from Pixie. I've been seeing everybody on TikTok use them, so I got them, and they're just right, like push it down. eye patches that you wear in the morning, at night, whenever. It comes with like, how many? 30. What? Yeah. Now for the big kahuna. I got deodorant. Oh, she got deodorant. I got the matching oh, body wash. Oh, okay. It's cucumber and green tea. I already said that, but I got some body wash. Oh, it's just so uh, I'm into my bath and body work. Bath and body does not last. No, it does. It lasts me for 24 hours. And I got a hand cream, EOS. This is vanilla cashmere. I love their body lotion, so of course I had to get the hand cream. Okay. This brush Michaela uses. Well, well she uses it. For yeah. Sure. Ma 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 <laughs> no. No. Makai. You Ma <laughs> got me fucked up, dude. <laughs> Michaela on TikTok. She's known for like makeup. She's beautiful, and she I has like her. a Boston accent. No, like yeah. I got a flash of crust. There was. But anyways, she uses this uh, this Mirror. brush for like I cream contour and stuff. Yes, yes. Yes. Look at this. <gasps> the big kahuna. Oh no. The it's yellow the bag. bag. Look how cute. Yes. Yes. Isn't yes. This is so perfect for St. Patty's. It is. It is. It is. It is. Yes. How is it? How? It's gonna get it lost. No, no, it has a strap so I can wear it crossbody. It's cute. It's like. A pastel yellow, so I can still wear it in the summer, not just for one occasion. What? What the hell? It is snowing like crazy. Yesterday it was beautiful. And now, what the hell? Pennsylvania is seriously so bipolar. Brady loves the snow though. This is actually insane. It was like 65 degrees yesterday. I was actually sweating outside. And now I'm gonna need a jacket. Can someone please explain this or give me a plane ticket to Florida? Because I'm really, really over this. Thank you. I did the nose strips last night. Oh, I'm looking a little bit rough. I did the nose strips last night. I'm so excited to pull it off. It actually stayed on pretty well throughout the night. I put a little pimple patch on. I hope this doesn't hurt.
<gasps> okay, this is kind of gross. Do you guys see all that gunk that was just pulled out? That's so gross. I'm gonna do these like once a week. My nose feels so much better. I mean, I don't have the biggest of pores, but my nose definitely gets like really big blackheads. Oh my God, that's crazy. I decided to clean out my purse because I've been using this book bag. It's from Coach. It's super cute, but it's just like not practical. I hate carrying it around with me. It's huge, but not in a good way. Like I love a big purse but it gets so cluttered and it's really annoying like quickly like putting it on and it just gets me so frustrated like leaving stores. So I'm switching from this bag to um, this purse again. I've used this so many times. It's such a good purse and I always go back to it because why not? It goes with everything, the colorway, it's beautiful. So, and also it's a crossbody, so it's so practical and I love it. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm keeping in it. Two little hand sanitizers. We have warm vanilla sugar and strawberry pancake from Bath and Body Works. This is one of those telescopes that me and Cody did over the summer. I don't know if you guys can see Look at me, Cody. So I always keep this in my purse just because it's a fun little memory to look back on. And it's cute. I have my AirPods. Look how cute this little case is. I got it at Five Below. It says, you got this. And I don't know, it was five bucks. So why, why not? I have a little mirror, compact mirror. Some gum, of course. This is Spearmint Rain by Five? <laughs> Five? Is that the brand? I'm not even sure. It's so hard keeping a purse organized. Like, am I the only one that struggles with that? I don't know. I have this cute little pouch that keeps all my woman products in there. You can never be too prepared, let me just say. I had two of my lip liners in here. I'm not going to put them back, but they're my go-to. MAC Spice and MAC Whirl. I'm gonna actually put these back into my vanity. This is my go-to lip gloss at the moment. This is by Buxom. It's their Plump Shot. It's so, so juicy. I just got this hand cream yesterday, so I'm adding it into my purse. It's the EOS Hand Cream Vanilla Cashmere. So excited to use this. My hands have been so dry lately. My Laneige Lip Balm. This just, oh, it's everything. It comes with a little applicator. The perfect on-the-go lip balm. So handy. I got this little pouch when I ordered jewelry off of Amazon and I just like keeping it in my purse because you know when you take off your earrings or a necklace and I don't want to get in lost. So I keep this in here just in case. I'm gonna put my keys in here. And am I missing anything else? Um, I have like loose change. I hate cleaning out my purse because I'm a hoarder, apparently. I keep all the random shit that I do not need. Like random change just in my purse, like can we be a little bit organized or no? Yeah. Oh my God, I feel so much better already. I love a cleaned out purse. There's like nothing better. 